Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will show you how you can install R, set it up in R Studio, and then install the necessary packages for data visualization and geospatial analysis in three easy steps. Our first step is to install the latest version of R, and you can do that on posit.co website. Posit is the owner of R Studio. So if you go to the main page, scroll down, you will see here the link to download and install R. So click on this link. This will take you to a new page where you can choose for your operating system. So we'll be choosing to download R for Windows. So we can just click here. And finally, this will take you to where you can download R for Windows. What you need to do is click just on this link, install R for the first time. This will then take you to another page where you can download the executive file for Windows. So you can just click on this one, download R version 4. 0.4.1 for Windows. This will prompt you to select the folder where you want to download your R file. So over here, I choose Downloads folder on the partition, and then I click here on Save, which is going to then start the download. Once the download is complete, you will see this R executive file in your Downloads folder. So you need to click twice. So the first thing you need to choose here is the language. Then you click on OK. Then you can read here the important information about the product. And after that, you can click on Next. And then you can choose where you want to install your R. And after you choose the folder where you want to install, you click on Next and then click again on Next. And then you can also choose whether you want to customize your startup or not on Windows. I'm just going to say No, and I'm going to click on Next. And then after that, you can also select whether you want to add this to your Start menu folder and then again click Next. And then in one of the penultimate steps, you just need to choose whether you want to create a desktop shortcut. I would definitely suggest that you add registry entries to save version number in registry and associate R with R data files. Then you can click on Next, which will start the installation and the installation is going to be done in no time. Once the installation is done, you just need to click on finish and we are done with the first step, which is installing R on your system. Our second step is to install R Studio. So for that purpose, we are back at posit.co and now we're going to go and click on download R Studio desktop for Windows. This will again prompt you to choose the folder where you want to download the file and I choose the same one, which is downloads, and then I click on save. If you downloaded the file to the same directory where you download also R, you should be able to see R Studio icon here. So the next thing is to install this. So click right and then select run as administrator here. And once you click on yes, you're ready to start your R Studio setup. So over here, you need to click on next. Then you need to choose the destination folder for your installation. You will need 1.5 GBs for that. Once you're ready, you can click on next. And then you can click on install. And this is going to start the installation of our studio. Once the installation is done, you will get this message. And then you just need to click on finish. While you are still in the download folder, you can go here to the start menu and click here on start and over here search for the apps. You can write R Studio and you should be able to see this R Studio app. So then click on this one in order to launch it. This will open up a new Windows asking you to choose your R installation. In my case, I have several installations. So what I want to use is the latest one, which is 4.4.1. In order to do that, I need to click here on choose a specific version of R and now these are enabled. So then I'm going to click on number two, which is R version 4.4.1. And then I'm going to click on OK. Well done. You successfully installed R Studio and associated your R version with R Studio. The first message you will get here is whether you want to enable automated crash reporting, I'm just going to click here on yes. And now we are finally in our studio and we are ready to use it. Now that we are in our studio, I want to quickly walk you through its main features. So the first thing here you will see is the console on the left hand side. So over here, you can see the R version, which we installed. And then we will link to this R studio in console. You can actually write code. You can execute it. But most likely you would like to open a new source file that you can then use to run the code. The way you can do that is you can click here on File, 
select new file and then our scripts you will also notice here that you can even run python d3.js even some c files but for now we're just going to click on our script and you can see there is also here a shortcut which is Control shift n so you will see now another quadrant open here in the upper left corner and this is called source so over here you can write your code for example you can print here hello world and then what you can do is over here on the right hand side you can simply run here or you can simply click on Control enter which is the same thing it's going to run and then over here down there in the console which you can also pull up if you want you will see that this was executed and that the output was hello world then moving to the upper right quadrant here you will see several tabs environment history connections tutorial if we start from the environment if you loaded your data set and you can do that right here in the environment one by importing the data set you will see here the variables so we don't currently have anything that's why it is empty on the history one you can see all the functions that you run all the commands and over here you can clearly see that we ran previously print hello world connection tab is used to connect to external databases if you're working with them and the final tab tutorial is you can access here actually um, or you can install actually learn our package which is going to help you to run tutorials for our studio and then in the lower right quadrant you will see another bunch of the options starting with files these are the folders from your root directory so you can easily access any script for example that you need now when you are plotting things it should appear in this plots uh, tab packages you can clearly see here all the packages you, you have installed if you are uh, installing your vanilla version of R so you don't have anything there probably this is going to be empty you might have just a few this is something that I inherited from the previous R version and over here you have some additional tabs as well our final step is to install packages that we need for data visualization and for geospatial analysis in our studio there are three ways to install packages and i'm going to show you them one by one the first and the easiest way is to navigate to this lower right quadrant and then search for the packages tab and click on it this is going to open you up a list of available packages and two options the first tab is to update your existing packages and the second one is to install additional packages so you should click on the install tab which is then going to open up this new window asking you to fill out some details the first one is where do you want to install the packages from so usually you want to select here cran as your main repo because most packages are actually based uh, in cran the second one is to write here what are the packages that you want to install and there are several packages that i heavily use in my tutorials and my daily work so one of them that i want to install here is called tidyverse and you can see as i start writing it immediately finds it because it's available in cron so tidyverse is the umbrella package which has packages for data wrangling such as for example dplyr and tidyr but also packages for creating maps such as ggplot2 another one that is very important in my daily work is Terra package for loading and modifying and working with raster files the third package that i also use a lot is asset package for working with shapefiles now talking of shapefiles i usually work with shapefiles of national and subnational boundaries for national boundaries i usually select gisco r and for subnational boundaries i suggest installing r geo boundaries now i also work with digital elevation models uh, and in many tutorials i have also used that one and one package that comes to my mind when we talk about digital elevation models fetching them easily for any uh, part of the world is the elevator package now you might want to install some more i'm actually fine with this uh, base ones for now and then what you need to select here is the path to your library so i suggest here selecting the default library pathway and this is my default library pathway and then the last but not least thing actually quite important is to leave this check 
box here. So leave it to check install dependencies because you might end up, you might run into issues if you don't install dependencies. Once you're happy with all this, you can click on install and this is then gonna start installing your packages. The second way to install the packages in our studio is to write code. And you can do that either in the source code here in the upper left corner or directly in the console in the lower left corner of the screen. I will be using the source code in the upper left corner of the screen. And here you can use the function from base R, which is install packages. Now, because we want to install several packages at the same time, you need to put them into a list. So within install packages, then you need to use this lower uh, case C open the brackets again and then over here you want to enlist the names of the packages that you want to install and separate them by comma but this time you also want to put single or double quotation marks around them so that R can understand what needs to do and then the final step here is to also install the dependencies so what you want to do here is set dependencies equals true once you are done with that, you can simply select this part of the code and then you can either click here on the run or you can simply uh, use control enter combined. The third way to install packages in our studio is through code again, but this time through a package which is called Pacman. I think that this is the most efficient way to do it. And this is because Pacman allows you, first of all, to find if you already have packages installed, then if they're not installed, it's going to install them together with dependencies. And finally, it is going to load all the packages into your R session so that you can start working right away. So to use Pacman, you first need to install it from Cran. So you can simply write here, install packages Pacman, then run this. This is going to install Pacman. And then you can call Pacman and you can called specifically its function, which is called, called P underscore load. Within this one, what you need to do is you need to provide then the list of the libraries that you want to install and then load into R. But be careful because over here, you don't need to provide either single or double quotation marks around your packages. They should go without them. You should though keep commas in between so that Pacman understands that these are separate package names. Now, if you want to install RayShader and its dependencies for 3D mapping, this package is built from the source. And in order to install it, you will first of all need to go to your browser and then search for our tools here. And once you get to this page, select just the latest version of the R tools. And over here, you will need to just click on this installer here. So R tools 44 installer. And this will then prompt you to save this executive file to your destination. So then click just on save and this will initiate then the download. Once you download it, head back to your download folder right click on the R tools icon, run as administrator, start the installation setup. So over here, what you really want to do is put this into the root directory, which is in my case C, and then click on next. After that, you want both boxes checked, so leave them as they are, and then click again next. And then finally, just click on install, and this is going to start the installation of R tools. Once the installation is complete, simply click on finish button. If your RStudio is already open, please close it down. And then if you want, you can save the changes you have here. And once this is done, please restart again. So again, go to the search bar here, search for RStudio, click on it. And this is simply going to restart your session with the same source code you had before. You're ready now to uh, install the Ray Shader package. And then to install the Ray Shader package, we're actually going to uh, do something else. So we're not going to go for install packages. We're not going to use Pacman here. We're going to actually install specific versions of Ray Shader and three of its dependent dependencies, which is Ray Image, Ray Vertex, and Ray Render. The reason for that is if you install the latest version of uh, Ray Shader and its uh, dependencies, there are going to be some issues with uh, rendering your object, which other users have already reported on the Ray Shader GitHub page. So I'm gonna here show you how you can install the versions that I'm using in tutorials and in my day-to-day -day work. Now to install this, we'll need to install another package, 
which is called remotes. Maybe you already have this package. If you don't have, simply uh, run uh, this line here. And once you are done, we can go ahead and use remotes. From remotes, we'll be using one of its functions, which is called install a version. So this helps you install a version from CRAN that you actually want. So first thing you need to provide here is the name of the package. So we're going to go first with array shader and later on we're going to be installing also its dependencies. The second thing is we want to install the version. So this is the version that I'm using. So it's 0.35.7. And then the last step is to provide a link to the repo, CRAN repo, from which you want to install this. So this will be the link to this US CRAN repo. Okay, once you do this, once you install the remote package, you can then simply run this one. And this is going to start installing the specific version of Ray Shader that I'm using here. So one thing that is very important, if you go now down to this console, it's going to ask you what would you like to update of other packages. It's important that you click here on none, so three. So in other words, here it's ask you enter one or more numbers or an empty line to skip updates. So I just put here three and then you press enter. And this is going to then start installing the ray shader on your system. And it might take, you know, maybe a minute, maybe a few minutes, depending, you know, how fast is your machine. All right, we successfully installed the ray shader. Now for installing the remaining dependencies, uh, in specific these three, ray image, ray vertex, and ray render, you need to simply use the same steps I use for installing ray shader. So here for the package, you can then write, for example, a ray image, and then for the version, the one that I provided here. And then the same thing as we did also with the ray shader, once you're prompted to select here the number, simply type three and then click enter. So again, do this one at a time. All right, folks, this is how you install R and set it up in R Studio for data visualization and geospatial analysis in three easy steps. Let me know how it went for you in the comment section below. If you're new to R and you seek to expand your data visualization and GIS knowledge in R, I prepared a few cool tutorials on how you can also set up your R in VS Code and Copilot, so do check them out. See you next time.